Hi, I'm going to attempt to transfer propane from this larger propane tank to this smaller propane tank. Now, the way I understand how propane works is that propane is a liquid, and the bottom of the tank is full of the liquid, and then the liquid evaporates, and the top is full of gas. So, when you hook up a hose to a propane tank, you get gas. But when you fill a propane tank, what you want is to fill it with liquid. So that means you have to turn the propane tank that it's coming from upside down so that the liquid comes out of the nozzle. And I'm not sure if the modern safety proof propane tanks will work for doing that. I think this larger style, which doesn't have the tri-lobe dime or triangle shaped not, uh, handle, I think it will work, but I'm not sure if the triangle shaped handle ones will work for this or not. Okay, so I have the larger propane tank upside down now, so hopefully the liquid's at the bottom. The smaller tank has a pressure release valve that I think we want to use here. Uh, we'll just see how it goes. I'll open up the small tank first, I guess. Then I'm going to let the pressure release valve open a bit, and then we'll try the big one. Let's see. I don't know. A little bit of a leak. Don't start a fire here. See liquid propane dripping out. And I have a little fuel gauge there and it is no longer on empty. Well, we'll stop there for now. So the hose is full of liquid propane, which is not the safest thing in the world. So I'm not sure the ideal way of doing this, but anyways, you can see that it kind of works. Okay, so I want to show you the result here. Looks like I got maybe a third of a tank. Um, that's good enough for now. What I like about this small tank is that it's small enough to be portable when I'm using the weed burner. I got it at a garage sale. It works well. The problem is it's the old style handle. So I don't think they'll fill that for you at the store. So you got to figure out some way of filling it. And. Now if you want to make, I use the uh, weed burner hose here to connect the two tanks and they don't make it easy like you know they if you look I was looking through a pile of propane fittings and they basically don't none of them come with the stuff that allow you to do what I did here I mean they don't want you to do it they make it hard on purpose the only thing I had that was quarter inch to quarter inch female was this oddball thing here that I normally use with my air compressor when I want to fill another air tank. So basically you need like these double females to uh, connect, you know, air tank to air tank, which they don't really let you do, and then obviously propane tank to propane tank, which they don't want you to do. Um, and that's why it has that air fitting on there. Um, but uh, a little sketchy. There's got to be a better way of doing it. Having a really long hose is not ideal. Having that funky air fitting is not ideal. The long hose just fills up with liquid, so when you're done, you got a whole bunch of liquid in there. I guess you could turn the whole thing over and let the air hose drain back into the other tank, maybe. Okay, thanks. Bye.